Well, what's going on my sweet sweet friends? So today, as you guys can tell by the title, I am doing a Boston Market mukbang. So, the reason I decided to do a Boston Market today is because tomorrow, the day that I'm filming this, oh, actually no, the day that I'm filming this tomorrow is not Easter Sunday, but when this video goes up, the next day is Easter Sunday. So I wanted to do a video that kind of had to do with kind of like Easter food, you know, kind of just like that home cooked, southern food type of feel you know at least that's like the type of food that my family normally eats on easter comment down below what you guys normally eat on easter though um so i was like okay where around me because i can't cook a full meal like this um where around me sells a good like southern style meal and it came to me it dawned to me Boston Market okay I had Boston Market when I was really really little but I stopped eating it when I was probably like 10 when I got to like the double digits that's just because we just stopped eating it like no not really for any reason we just stopped going there and I was like wow I haven't had Boston Market in a while so I decided to do that for today's video so if you guys are going to be at home for Easter you don't feel like cooking I'm pretty sure Boston Market is going to be open and if you are interested in getting this meal definitely go there on Easter and get you this meal what I got was since we're talking about my meal if it will open oh yes yes what I got was right here it is the <sighs> It is the quarter rack of the Louisiana style ribs with a quarter of the white rotisserie chicken. And as for my sides, I got the mashed potatoes with light gravy because I don't like it too watery. And then I also got a side of mac and cheese. I oh, I love this. And also, I wanted to get a dessert but then I was like I looked in and I was like oh there's nothing here that I really want but I looked on the menu and there was this seasonal peach cobbler so I was like hey do you guys still have this uh peach cobbler because it was like a limited a, li a limited time thing and they were like actually we have one more piece and they just put it in the oven so it's like really hot and yeah but obviously I'm not going to eat it until the very end of this video but we're gonna take a look at it okay Oh, it smells delicious. I had peach cobbler all the time when I was little for like Thanksgiving and stuff. So like I'm a fiend. I love it. So yeah. And also every meal comes with a piece of cornbread. So we're we go. And we're gonna take a quick thumbnail and then we're going to get into this feast. Okay. All right. So I just took the thumbnail and the last time I actually had Boston Market, they didn't even have the ribs. So I'm actually really interested to try them. All right, what is, sorry I'll put the mac and cheese because I loved this when I was little. Yep. Tastes the exact same. Get some of the mashed potatoes. Mm. Perfect amount of gravy. I think it's chicken gravy. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 so good okay let's just go into this rib it's really hot okay so we got the rib we're just we get into it Mm-hmm. This is good. Mm. One of my favorite things about summertime is that it's when my dad makes like ribs and stuff. Oh, these are so freaking good. You gotta always make sure you clean the bone. Mm. 
I'm sorry, little piggy. Mm. Mm. Okay, for real. This is clean, okay? I'm proud of myself. Okay, let's have some chicken now. This is the chicken. It's a big boy. Mm -hmm. mm. Just love the skin. Mm. I think they have Boston Market like everywhere. So if you have one near you and you've never tried it, definitely try it. I will say, it's definitely like not like, I don't think it's soul food. Cause soul food's just, it's made differently. You know, like it just makes your body feel some type of way. Comment down below if you know what I mean when I say that, okay? <laughs> but it's definitely like a Southern style food. And I like it a lot. <clears throat> The mac and cheese is like little curly noodles. Mm, this is calling my name. I'm really gonna have to go downstairs and get that ice cream whenever I eat dessert. Mm. See, got double meat because protein, baby. <laughs> mm. Fun fact, though, whenever I get like the quarter, like whenever I get big pieces of chicken like this, I really only eat the parts with like the skin on top of it just because I feel like the rest of it's kind of like dry. So please don't roast me in the comments when you see I don't clean the bone of the, this chicken just because it's a little too dry for me when there ain't no skin on it. I need some more of this rib. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. I didn't think these were gonna be that good. I tasted the sauce downstairs when I was heat because I'd heat it up a little bit because I had to wait for my peach cobbler to be done so it got a little bit cool but I tasted the sauce and I was like eh. I thought it was a little bit like too like peppery a little bit too like you know how like when you barbecue like food it's like you can taste like the char I felt like I tasted a lot of that And I don't like that. So I was a little skeptical after I tried the sauce. But this is actually delicious. All right, clean both of these bones. The meat's actually coming off of this really, really easily. really good the mashed potatoes have like good seat they're really seasoned really well what is there to talk about um oh yeah so I've been like obviously like since I do make mukbangs I watch a whole bunch of mukbangers just because like 
mukbangers i don't know guys comment below how you say it because i'm pretty sure i'm saying it wrong but like i'm so used to saying mukbang so like that's just how i say it but i watch a lot of people that make the same type of videos that i do and i read a lot of comments and a lot of people's comments always say like oh my gosh like do you ever cook like because a lot of people um and then mukbangs like all of their food is like restaurant bought or restaurant made or whatever mm. still people are, like really wondering like do you ever cook um and i feel like there's a big comment like there's a big misconception about mukbangers ever since i started making mukbangs that i made this mukbang channel a lot of people think that like since you eat all this food that like and like and since i upload like three times a week they think like all i do is eat out you know what i mean which is so not the case because for me personally hold on let's take a bite of this chicken real quick mm. Mm, okay. skin mm, i'm getting full but for me i upload three times a week as you guys know which means obviously when i'm not filming there's four other days um for me to eat but also this right here is my lunch so even though i do film mukbangs i still eat three meals a day oh me personally because of the fact that like my mukbangs are not like the absurd ones like you know like I lo i'm obsessed with stephanie sue and she like eats like an absurd amount of food like she eats a, like with her fiance granted but like she just eats a lot of food whereas me i just eat like a normal sized meal so i still have room in my stomach to eat breakfast and dinner most of the time when i film my mukbangs it is my lunch um so for breakfast i'm at home and i make my food and for dinner if my parents aren't home then i'll find something to eat but if my parents aren't home my mom normally just makes us dinner so like the majority i definitely eat in and i eat home cooked meals way more than i eat out uh oh Ooh. yeah so i feel like that's a really big misconception that like all mukbangers, mukbangers eat out for every single meal. So untrue, at least for me. And I'm assuming for a lot of other people as well. But there are also those mukbangers that film and upload a mukbang every single day of the week. And the mukbangs are like absurd. So it's like they're eating like their day's worth of calorie in one sitting, basically. Um, so I guess for those people, I guess they might really only eat out. I really have no clue. I'm not them. So, yeah. Mm. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm, this one's a little bit harder to clean. Mm. Mm. Well, that's that's piece of the bone. Okay, sit like this. You guys can see my feet. I am so sorry, but my leg was starting to get cramped up. Mm. Okay.
I'm gonna finish this mac and cheese. And then we're going to eat some of this cobbler. I'm not gonna eat the cornbread. Cause she's pretty told I really only like cornbread when I like see it be made. And like I know for a fact that it's homemade and I'm pretty sure this is homemade but at the same time it's like such a perfect shape and since when things are perfect shapes like obviously that means like they're really processed for the most part so it kind of scares me seeing basically how it's like a perfect rectangle so maybe I'll give some to my dog <laughs> mm. all right Mac and cheese is gone. Take one more bite of the mashed potatoes. Mm, those are good though. Mm. Did I get all the gravy? Okay. Now we're done with that. I need a napkin though, so. Mm. okay i'm gonna have to heat that up a little bit but i'm going to go heat it up and then i'm going to get some ice cream and we are going to freaking feast y'all okay okay guys so we have a little special guest my dog wanted to come in here she was actually in like i think it was like my doritos video willow willow she she tastes the food on the floor okay you want to say hi Say hi. Yeah, you don't care. You just want ice cream. Oh, you just want food. Okay, so I just heated it up. And I got the ice cream. I'm going to put some on here. And then I'm going to show you guys it up close. And then we're going to try it. Hey, sit. I definitely, it tastes, uh, not taste. it looks different than my mom's does. Like my mom's homemade does. But that is okay. Oh. Yeah, girl. That's how I feel, too. <laughs> this right here is how it looks. Doesn't look like the most appetizing, but in my opinion, I think it looks really, really good. And it's my spot. This, this dog is greedy. Her birthday is on April 25th. So it's coming up. You Are you really about to... That's about to say, girl, you sit right in front of here. <laughs> Okay. Oh, my throat's itchy. Okay, let's try this though. Let's get peach. Hmm. Not bad. Definitely doesn't taste like my mom's, but it's good. I'll give them that. You're not getting any. Mm -mm. I just want all the bites with the with the peach in it, though. Mm. They put like like oats in here. I'm not a fan of the oats. Mm. My mom makes hers more like like a cakey consistency. If that makes sense. <clears throat> mm. Mm. No, we can't get any. Very good. If you like cobbler, specifically peach cobbler, this is actually, like, it's not bad pretty good actually so willow spot it I'll lick my hand mm. okay puppy's gotta eat too I hope you guys enjoyed today's mukbang if you guys 
liked it remember to give it a thumbs up and comment down below your video requests you know things that you want to see from me because i normally always see your video requests love you guys all so much like comment and subscribe turn those notifications so you never miss a video from me and i will see you guys in my next video want to say bye bye guys bye guys <laughs>